Hello again, internet travelers. Welcome to another jaw-dropping, earth-shattering, bone-chilling tilt brush tutorial. Got your attention now, don't I? Today we'll be focusing on how to spice up your projects by importing some pre-existing object via Google's immensely useful poly platform. Joining us in the studio once again is artist extraordinaire, George Peasley. Okay, so simply put, Google Poly is a 3D object platform built for digital creators, developers, pretty much anyone interested in 3D to share, browse, and download a massive assortment of 3D models to use. Found only in advanced mode, all assets uploaded onto this resourceful catalog are capable of being accessed while in Tilt Brush, allowing you to browse and add third-party objects to your own pieces without ever having to remove your headset. Here's how to start importing poly objects into your art. If you click on the poly library icon, a panel will pop up with a list of assets to choose from. Signing into a poly account also provides the added benefit of being able to quickly access your own creations, as well as save ones you like for future use. Of course, if you're not quite sure what it is you're looking for exactly, you're always welcome to browse the entire catalog yourself in hopes of finding a little bit of inspiration. Polly is already bursting at the seams with a huge selection of high quality models from a variety of incredibly talented artists. So you should have no trouble getting started filling in your chosen environments from our first episode. For an even better look at what Polly has to offer, check out the full website at polly.google.com. Who knows? One of your 3D creations or objects could be featured on the front page for all to see.